Yo, what is up everybody? So today's video is a little bit different. If you watched the last video, you know that I said that I was going to do my helmet setup video of 2022 and show you how I have everything ran, what I use. And when I talk about something that I used, I will put up the Amazon card so you can see what I paid and what that Amazon listing is. If you are new to the channel, hello, I'm Dylan, AKA Dylan6563, uh, and I moto vlog on a 1998 Honda Superhawk 996, aka Honda VTR 1000, or for my UK friends, a Honda Firestorm 996, I think is what it's called, over across the pond. But yeah, I'm going to show you my 2022 helmet setup. I've actually had this set up for about a year, um, so I pretty much have everything dialed the way I like it. There's a couple things I changed, and I will mention those. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first and obvious thing that we will just talk about is the helmet itself, okay? Now, don't judge me. Yes, this is an Amazon helmet. I will show you it right here. This is an Amazon helmet. Now listen, because I was new to moto vlogging, I could not justify spending $400 plus on a nice helmet that I'm just going to put tape on and figure all this stuff out. And let's be real, if you're going fast enough and you hit your head hard enough, you're gonna die either way. At least I'm wearing a helmet. Talking to you Harley people. Anyway, it is, it's an ILM, I can't remember what it is, but um, it is DOT, uh, you know, safe or whatever. DOT certified, you can see the other stickers I have back there. I am in the market for a new helmet, a nicer, more expensive helmet now that I know how everything works and I have everything dialed. Um, but that is the shell that I've been rocking with and it hasn't done me dirty at all really. I think I've dropped this helmet once, it wasn't from very far, uh, and it's held up surprisingly for a year. This is uh, what it looks like after a year, it could use a cleaning, uh, but yeah, that's the helmet. So as you can see it also, I can't open it, but it does open. It is a modular helmet. So you can see the button is, you can't really see the button, but the button is in here. Uh, you can't see it, but it does flip open. I have done it, but with all these wires, I can't open it anymore. And you also obviously have built in sunglasses and they do work great. All right, so the next thing I will show you guys, because I've had this set up for a while and it's gone through a couple upgrades, this is the original camera that I started with, a GoPro Hero 3. This is what started the Moto Vlogging on my channel. I'll actually put a couple clips up of what the Moto Vlogs used to look like, so be happy they don't look like that anymore, and I've upgraded. Uh, but yeah, this is what started it all, is a GoPro Hero 3. And one thing I do miss about this camera, I'm not going to lie, is the older cameras you plugged directly into it. The mic would plug directly into here. You didn't need an adapter. You didn't need anything. You plugged the mic and it recorded audio. So the audio wasn't great. I'll go ahead and put a little sample in right here. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm going. So as you can hear, the mic quality wasn't great, but it was plug and play. Literally, I have the mic over there. I'm not going to dig it out. It was plug and play. Uh, as you can see, it was mangled. It didn't have a back door or nothing. But now to what I use now. So the camera I have on here now is a GoPro Hero 2018. It was GoPro's budget GoPro um, at the time. Now, I'm not suggesting you do this, and I'm not telling you to do this, but if you do have a GoPro Hero 2018, you can upgrade it to a GoPro Hero 5 Black in 15 minutes if you have a computer. I have an old computer that is like eight years old and I was able to do it. It is super easy. You just take, you put the SD card in your computer, you take the files out, you put new files on and it unlocks the entire thing. So with the, with the budget GoPro, it didn't have GPS. It didn't have 4K. It didn't have super view. It didn't have pro tune. And with a little adjusting in the computer and moving files around, I now have 4K super view pro tune, all that good stuff. So now this is a full fledged GoPro Hero 5 Black. And when you plug this GoPro into the app, instead of it saying GoPro Hero 2018, it now recognizes itself as a GoPro Hero 5 Black. So little thing about that, if you have that camera, I highly recommend doing it. I'm not telling you to GoPro, but I do suggest you do it. So now what the camera is mounted on, as you can see, if you look really hard, it is not stuck. Let's see if you can see it better from the bottom. 
it is not stuck all the way on there. There's actually a, there's gaps on either side of this. I don't know if you can tell, see? There's gaps on either side of that. And these are the Walmart GoPro mounts. And there's a gap on either side and it has held up no problems at all. And I have legally on a racetrack in Mexico hit 180 miles an hour plus with that, with that supporting my GoPro. And it has not shooken. It has not come off. I have dropped the helmet. It has not come off. It is secure as a rock. So if you're a little skeptical, you know, kind of take it easy at first, but this has held up to some enormously fast, like really fast winds, and the camera doesn't move an inch. Okay, and with those, you have mounts. As you can see, it's not a normal mount. This curl mount, right, you everybody, if you're gonna get one of the curl mounts, I, that's what I use, but if you look here, there's an extender. I had to buy some extra extenders from Amazon. They were really cheap. My brother actually has the other ones. You can see it comes with two long ones and two short ones. And I use the long ones and it works phenomenally. It makes it so I can point this thing basically straight to the sky or point it all the way down. And another bonus I found, I just kicked the camera, sorry. Another bonus I found is I can actually see the screen from inside my helmet. So I know what you guys are seeing. Before it was kind of down here and I couldn't see anything. Even on this old camera, it didn't have a screen at all. But now with this one, with that big extender, I'm able to see the camera, but see over the camera. It's not like right here in my face. I can see over the camera and it's just barely down in my bottom view. I'll see if I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, this is the best representation I can do of how, what I see with the camera. Obviously, this isn't completely accurate because I just shoved my phone in my helmet. But as you can see, this you're, where's the camera? So the camera's right here. So this is about eye level. So this is what I see, and obviously with my eyeballs, I can look down and do this and then look back up. This is about the view that I see. Now, the microphone. If you've watched any Moto Vlog videos, you probably already know what microphone I'm running. But it's the Purple Panda. The Purple Panda is the microphone I use. It has never let me down. It's never let me down so much to the fact that I bought two of them. I literally have two of them. Uh, my brother is using the other one, is if you watch my videos, you know that. He's using the other one, and all it is is in here, I have it attached to my other mic, which is for this, but we'll get to that in just a second. So that's how I have it set up in there. That big wind fluff, that's the purple panda mic. And then obviously with the new GoPros, yes, you do need the mic adapter and it's just stuck right in the bottom of the case down there. So I have the mic adapter. You have to have it with new GoPros, unfortunately. One thing I miss about the old GoPro. So now on to probably the most expensive thing on this helmet. This is the Sina, Sina, however you wanna pronounce it. I don't care how you pronounce it. I say Sina the Cinna 50S. And at the time, uh, they had just come out. They had only been out like a week, um, I think. I don't know if I would recommend it per se. They have given us, me and my other two friends that have these, they have given us enormous problems, enormous problems. My friend's speaker has blown out twice. You can't hear it going past 45 miles an hour. Even my, uh, one of my friends has really expensive helmets. He's put a couple of them in. He still can't hear it. I haven't tried Cardo, so that's why I say I don't know. Uh, but just be warned, uh, we have had problems with these. But I don't really care because my brother was nice enough. Uh, Rocky Mountain Vloggers, his channel. He was nice enough to buy the dual pack and give me this one for free. So I don't complain too hard because I got it for free. Uh, but this is the this uh, Bluetooth communicator that I use. The Cine 50S, like I've said, the app sucks, 
Uh, we have lost connection multiple times. We have to pull over more than you would believe uh, to get these things to even remotely think about working. And that is pretty much it for the helmet. That is how I have everything ran in here. Um, I have the speakers. I don't, I don't know if you want to see the wiring, but the speakers, the mic is in there. Uh, the speaker wire is just self-explanatory. You run it behind the ear pads. Uh, and that is my helmet setup. Um, I'm definitely going to change it because I want to get, you know, a nice helmet, not one that I'm just experimenting with. But now that the helmet is done, I'm going to show you the other gear that I ride with. So now for the gloves. I used to have two pairs of gloves. I had summertime and these are like my kind of thicker. If I get mad at somebody, you know, you can punch their mirror and it won't break your knuckles type deal. But I gave my summertime gloves to my brother because he actually is the one that showed me these gloves and told me to buy them. I love them. They're my original gloves. They have held up phenomenally. The only thing I did is I ripped off. There's a little strap that Velcros here, but I prefer, uh, they fit perfectly. I prefer the open hand because it gives me more wrist movement. So I just ripped them off uh, on both and they have held up phenomenally. They fit over my watch. These gloves, I'll put them up here. I don't know if they're still available, but I think I paid like 15 bucks for them. Uh, and they're phenomenal. They have literally lasted uh, more than a year. These were my first gloves and they have uh, held up great. All right, so now for the actual, like real gear. These are the shoes that I run. I don't know what they are because my brother bought them uh, as a birthday present for me, but they are Alpine Stars. This is what they look like. These have held up great, and these are actually a size bigger um, than what I normally wear, and they are comfortable. I've walked around in them. They do get a little uncomfortable after a while. They rub your ankle, but I was wearing ankle socks, so that probably could have been why, but I mean, the lettering is still in there. That's what the foot looks like. And these have held up really, really great. Like I said, I don't know what, I can't pull up an Amazon listing because I don't know what they are. My brother just bought them for me as a birthday present. And then the last piece of gear that you've probably seen me wear a couple of times is the Alpine Stars jacket. Well, it's not really a jacket. It's more of an armor. It says jacket right here, bionic action jacket. But this thing is actually really comfortable. It's got a removable, removable back plate back there. There's a little lever down here. Then the Velcro strap coming across here. But this jacket is actually really comfortable extremely extremely breathable uh, you feel wind in this thing like nobody's business and if I go down uh, I'm safer than I would be if I wasn't wearing any gear so wear your gear do as I say not as I do and just if you're curious my other helmet yes it's also an Amazon helmet buy expensive helmets if you want and you can afford them but I've gotten a lot of compliments on this helmet um, this is my daytime helmet I've, get a, I've actually seen a lot of people wear this helmet. Uh, but this helmet is also really good. I love this helmet. It's never done me dirty. I don't wear it as much as this helmet, obviously, because I like to have my camera with me. But uh, yeah, that is my Moto Vlog setup for 2022. All right, so that is my Moto Vlog setup slash gear video, kind of. But yeah, that is everything that I use. If you have any questions about how I have anything set up or if you think I forgot something, let me know in the comments and of course I will respond. But yeah, if you enjoyed, as always, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Later!